What up, everybody? This week, we got a very special episode of Run Your Race. We got my boy, Anthony Simons, coming on to the pod. Very excited for you guys to listen to his story, which I already know, first and foremost, we are sponsored by DraftKings. And you already know, go download the app today and use our promo code RACE because new customers who bet just as little as $5 get $200 in bonus bets instantly. So y'all go tap into that. Y'all know DraftKings is going to take care of y'all. Now let's get to the pod. What up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Run Your Race with my boy, AJ Richardson, who is not here today. He's getting a fine for this one. He's getting a fine for this. But I keep telling y'all, we getting bigger and better. We got a very special guest here today. We got a very special guest here today. If you think of this team, you think of the Portland Trailblazers, who do you think of? You think of Anthony Simons. He's here with us today. Big time player, big time shot maker, and we just getting bigger and better. And not a lot of people heard from him. They got to hear from somebody who making over 100 M's. <laughs> got to the bag. Oh, I need money signs. I need money signs everywhere right now. <laughs> I need money signs everywhere. Look at the tracksuit. He wearing a tracksuit. It got money on it. it just, all I see is money. Man, it's just, but It's a Nike tracksuit. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, people, I want y'all to welcome Anthony Simons. I appreciate y'all. Nah, brother, I appreciate you coming on. I'm, I'm excited to hear your story, hear your journey. Um, and we just love to have people on here because someone's going to go through the same route you did. And they want to hear how you got through and how you dealt with the trials and tribulations of what you've been through. Mm -hmm. But before we do that, DraftKings, we appreciate you, our official partner. And we, we can't thank you enough for the love and support that y'all give us. But let's get to it. And listen, where you from and how'd you get started playing this game? Um, I'm originally from Altamont Springs, Florida. Okay. Um, just a little bit outside of Orlando. Uh, so... Somebody asked, I'm going to say I'm from Orlando. Yes. That's natural. No, yeah, that is. <laughs> yep, but yep, 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 yep. Yeah, just from there, um, kind of fell into the, fell in love with the game pretty early, mm -hmm. like three or four. My dad was, you know, I would call like a local hero. Got you. Local hero, like lo local legend, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, he was like known around the, around the area being good at basketball, just mm -hmm. playing in the no programs and the rec leagues. He was always yeah. pretty good, so... I was always around that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I just, basketball was just something that I naturally mm. gravitated to. Yep. So, um, you know, early on three, four, I was already understanding kind of what, what basketball was about, um, knew the rules. Um, so my dad saw that, I was able to dribble the ball pretty well. Like it was over with. It was over with. So my dad was, went full time coach mode on me. Yep, yep, that's how it go. You play any other sport? Nope. Nothing. Nothing else. I did track in middle school, but that was it. Just to do something, because we had, no ba we had, we had basketball. <laughs> we had basketball in my, oh, in my middle school. I did track for like, for one year. Uh, that was it, though. I, I wasn't. You didn't have hoops at your school? Nah, they got rid of it, because I guess before I got to the to the middle school, they, I, they had some problems with the parents. They was fighting at every game and oh, stuff like hell. that, so they had to stop it. <laughs> For a couple that, years. That would have pissed me the they hell couple, off, man. It, it's crazy. I, I was so mad because as soon as I left, they started up again. I was I was so I was a pissed. I ain't gonna course. lie. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of what started it all, man. Just just watching my watching my dad hoop and then, you know, I fell in love with the game, fell in love with some players, mm -hmm. and then after that, my dad was working me out at the park, five years old. That's insane, bro. That's insane. Hey, listen, at that point, if you if your dad's the local legend. You ultimately have to. You got to pick up the rock. You got to for sure. You really don't. Like, have it, I mean, it, I wouldn't say it was no pressure behind it, but like, I knew that's what I had pressure. to do. It was a little pressure. I, I knew cool. that's what I had to yeah, do. Yeah. Like, like yeah, I, when was the first time you beat him? Uh, I probably was like 15, 15, 16. Took you that long? Yeah, he, he didn't want to play me. He didn't want to play me though. He for knew. a minute, for a minute, he knew. Like when I was getting a little older, and I got yeah. athletic yeah. out of nowhere. <laughs> it was over with. <laughs> I was That's over it, yeah. I, but I was the whole time before that I was itching to play him. Like I was itching to. I was like, I gotta play you. Like, bro, you lucky as fuck. I never beat my dad, bro. You never? He didn't let me. He played me one time. That's played how they me do twice. You. And he beat me both times. He said, he said, once he figured out I was good, oh. Yeah. Wouldn't play me. That's again. what they do. That's, That's what they do. Little motherfucker. They figure out, like, oh nah, this dude, he taller than me now. He athletic. He fast. So I can't play, I can't beat him no more. Shit pissed me off. Who's the guy? <laughs> When you were young, 
like I said, you got your dad who everybody respected and stuff like that. But who was the guy that you looked up to? It's like, okay, I need to get, I want to get where he at. I mean, I would say my, my favorite player growing up was Trace McGrady. Oh, Just shit. being from Florida, yeah. playing for the Magic, mm -hmm. um, being a guy on the Magic me growing up. Mm -hmm. Like, that was that was a guy for me. So, like, that makes sense. That's all I paid attention to when I was growing up was Tracy McGrady, T Mac. T Mac with the Magic was. Yeah, he was a problem. He was definitely he was an problem. issue. Yeah. Definitely an issue. He was issue. a problem. So, that was like, I mean, just the way he carried himself to me, you mm -hmm. know, we kind of had the same, like, just kind of nonchalant attitude in a way, mm -hmm. sort of. Yeah. Like, you know, very quiet and, um, you know. He can just put the ball in the basket. Y'all both just anyway. get buckets at the end of the day. Y'all just get buckets. Y'all just get buckets. That's it. <laughs> That's all it is. Y'all both just get buckets. Let's just call it spade a spade. When was the moment for you? There was, there's always that moment there's like, okay, um, I'm a problem. When did you figure that out? That was this late, man. Really? I was late, boom, for sure. So you was ass at first? I wouldn't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wouldn't say that. I ain't say that. But I wasn't. Hey, he sat up a little I bit. Say, Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that. I just wasn't, I wasn't physically like equal to nobody yet. Got you. I was always small. I feel that. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, I was talking about this with one of my homeboys later. Like, I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm older. I sound like an old head now. Yeah. But like, you I feel like, the, yeah, I feel like the high school kids just not as big as they were when I was in high school. We was in high school. I agree with that. So when you, when you graduated high school? 20, 20 2014. 14? So I was, a, I was a freshman. I, yeah. I yeah, graduated high school in 2017. Yeah. But like growing up, seeing like you and like Harry on the same team, yes. HG. Yeah. I was like, bro, there's no way these like these are high school kids. I, I was, agree with that. I was watching like Andrew Wiggins highlights. Yes. I'm like, bro. Yes. I haven't seen anybody even grow, like close to that yet. There's only like this new kid, AJ DeBancia. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw him. I saw him. Now. Close now. I saw him yesterday. Him? I almost took that back. Yeah. I almost AJ took that DeBancia, back yesterday. AJ DeBancia and uh Tyron Stokes, mm -hmm. they could play with us. Yeah. Them two little motherfuckers, athlete, they're both pros. Yeah, for sure. They're for both sure. pros. You got like two, but like I feel like back no, then, it, it was, was a, like, it was like, bro. But I can I had Stanley Johnson, Jaleel Okafer, Miles Turner, D Lo, Joe Barry. It, it was who was in your class? My class? Yeah. So before I reclass, I was in 2017. Okay. So that was with like. That was with Wendell Carter. Yes. That was with DeAndre Aiden, <laughs> Hamid Diallo, Gary Trent, yeah, Trey guys. Young, Michael Porter, yep. like all of them. Like, yep. so I'm playing against them growing up. Yeah. So like they was already like big dudes early on. Yeah. So like I knew when that you I could, growth spurt. I didn't hear my growth was like junior year. That'll so do it. Looking at that, like my junior year is when I reclass. I said, I'm doing my, I'm gonna do a post grad year IMG. After I graduate, okay, because I'm looking at that 2017 class. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not close to them physically yet. Got you. That makes sense. I got, I got. This not is more close. a business decision. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got to like, I got to please play somebody that's like, that's like, I got to, I got to, be, I got to get ready. I need another year yes, to get ready yes. for college. That's what I'm thinking in my head. I no, need another for sure, year for sure. Because at that at that age, for you to recognize that, like, that's falling your pride. Like, listen, bro. These motherfuckers on a different level than me right, right now. I swallowed my pride, but I I, no, I, I was too proud before because they asked me to, like, do you want to reclass my eighth grade year? I was really? Like, nah, I don't need that. I said, nah. How tall I'm were good. you? I'm good. Man, I was going to high school like 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> I love if you get your little ass back. And... <laughs> if you, uh, Bro, you go, go straight to like the post. Five, I'm like, man, come, come on. It's going it's to kick in. Like, don't worry about it. I'm good. <laughs> like, I'm good. Don't worry about it. Was you, one of the, you was one of the motherfuckers out there doing... Uh, exercises to get taller and shit? Nah, 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 I wasn't doing that. You weren't doing all that? I wasn't doing that. I was just like, my dad got me like strength training early because I was always skinny. I was still skinny. You know what I mean? That, But one thing I would say that got me my athleticism out of nowhere. Really? Yeah. Like junior, like my junior year, something just clicked, bro. I just started East Band doing all this like, crazy stuff. And that's what helped me. That's East what helped, Band? Yeah. That's what helped me. That's what helped me in my recruitment. I, I started dunking and doing stuff. Everybody was like, who this? Came out of nowhere. Because I always, always can shoot the ball. So let's let's start at your freshman year, the high school. Mm -hmm. You going into your freshman year, you are, are you, what, what AU team you play for? Team Breakdown. Whoa, throwback. Yeah, yeah. Used to have some fucking mobs with Team Breakdown. Yeah, Kenny Boy. Dang. Kenny, 
Kenny if Boy anybody, Kenny all Boy the OG Knight. Hoopers, y'all know who Team Breakdown is. Kenny Boy yeah. in. Uh, what, God damn, what was his name? Don't say it yet. Ah, uh, fuck. It's going to take the whole. Who you talking about? Who was with Kenny Boy in? It was it was Kenny it was Kenny Boy and Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight, duh. Yeah. Why would I forget Brandon? Fuck my fault, be Knight. Yeah, my fault, dog. So, yeah, I there. grew up watching them, like, cause they coach was is my god dad. So I'm watching watching them. He started he started coach like coaching me early on, training me, and so that's what that's that's how I, I was like it was a no brainer, no brainer. I had to go to Team Breakdown. We was notorious for wearing pink, mm-hmm. we had pink yep. jerseys. <laughs> yeah, everything makes sense now. The motherfucker. Put, if you watch Kenny Boyden, everybody go watch Kenny Boyden and Brandon Knight in high school. I mean, they still nice now, but boy. Nah, they was a problem, bro. Them two problem. little motherfuckers in the backcourt? Yeah. That's who you was looking up they to. Won, they, yeah, they won AE Nationals back to back. And that was rare back Damn, then. Damn, Tracy McGrady. You had that's Kenny Boyden and Brandon fact. Knight in the backyard. I had a lot of people to watch, too, for sure. Yeah. Especially guards, though. Yeah. And we had, you had like Austin that was in the, that was, that was there. You want to see that live. Yeah, for sure. Let's go ahead and ask that before we get to back to you. It's Austin one of the best high school. Like, he was low key a performer, bro. He nah, used to bro. put on shows. Yeah, he was. He, he was, was in Florida. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was right down the street. So, like, I mean, he was. Like, he's literally the legend. He, he, there. Was, di- <laughs> he was different. Bro. He was different, bro. He was different. There was like, there's only a few people that can really match, like, how good he was in high school. Oh, I say two other people in the area. That was Amari Stoudemire. He okay. was he was he was amazing in high school. Yeah, yeah. And Vince. That's it. That's the only two I could think of that. That was an area that was really like that's great company. That's great company. That's a, that's a good one. Austin might have had the hype because it was younger. Like like I said, yeah, like it started early. Media. It, but it started early. Does he with have Austin, the though. best mixtape? Does he have the best mixtape? One of them for sure, if not the best. It's top think? three. Who it's you think got three. the best mixtape? I don't know. I go back and forth with this with this one. They started this debate a long time ago, and I'm like, I don't know. John got one. John Wall got a got a John's John Wall is nuts. A classic, bro. John, John John classic. Hey, listen, John I was Wall there for classic, that. bro. I know you was there for it. I so. was there for that. John Wall was classic. It. it was just nobody that fast dunking and like that. Right, dunking with his left hand, doing like behind the back left hand what dunks. What are we doing? He he put Old on righty shots. doing left hand dunks like that. All I'm like, <laughs> shit made no sense whatsoever. I, was, I, don't, I don't, I can't think of the, the third one. Like, it's it's a toss up to me because it's it's a lot of ones out I there. I put a kill cars up there though. Kill car was amazing. A kill car was fucking <laughs> car. <laughs> a kill okay. car mixtape was fucking insane. A kill car was crazy. When Wilson came on the scene, he was crazy too. Who? Uh, Trey Jefferson. Yeah. Look, yeah. yeah. Trey, Jefferson Trey Jefferson was, was nice. Harry's was. Oh my God. But hey, AG, my dog. When he was here, we got we got to get real close. I used to tell him all the time, boy, I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was the next coming to Michael Jordan. And they seen that mixtape. I'm okay. like, ain't no way nobody can stop him. And I'm telling and you. And to this day. I'm telling you. To this day. To this day. Harry's a problem. Harry's a problem. People sleep. Harry's a problem. People you can't, sleep. You can't guard him. You can't guard him. You can't guard him. Dog. I'm telling you, he was the first person, and I would never, ever in my, like, in your class, you'd never be like, this is, he's better than me. He was younger than me. He was like three years younger than me. I'm like, that motherfucker is way better than me. <laughs> Harry was so fucking good. It's still, oh, that was insane, bro. Man, Let's go. Good. So you start your freshman, sophomore year. Are you on varsity? Yeah, I started freshman year ball on varsity. I did. Little. Little though. Like I wasn't, I wasn't that said, I wasn't the best player on the team. It was a put somebody named Eddie Keith that was better than me. Like uh, he was he was going to he went to Townsend and all that stuff. And he was like, he was big boy. You know uh, what I mean? Like 6'4, 210, 220. Like yeah. he was the best player on the team. I was just, I just, I was just a shooter. I was spot up in the corner anywhere, shoot the ball. Hey, listen, that you was gotta it. have him. That was it. So I was like five eight. Sophomore year. He was out there playing defense, full court. No, nah, I wasn't playing defense. <laughs> I want to put, we was we was running like zone and stuff like that. <laughs> I was way too small. I told you I wasn't even athletic back then, so I was just like, "What the fuck happened, bro?" I don't know. To this day, I don't know. I just that I was strength training. And I guess it just kicked in one day. I, bro, I swear to God, I remember seeing one of your mixtapes, and I was like, "Where the fuck did this kid come from?" 
You start doing stupid shit. Yeah. That's it. You just you, my, so you just start trying shit. You start East Bay. I mean, up. I was always trying to dunk. Like, you know how you just going yeah, out yeah, back in the front sure. yard trying to dunk. Yeah, so I would sure. do that every day. Like, that would be just a ritual. Like, outside my house, I would just go outside. We'll I'll finish working out with my dad. And then you just I just start trying to turn dunk. We record it all and just, you know what I mean, see how far I can get each and every day. All right. So you gotta let us know when was that moment? When was that moment that you felt like you were you made it? Man. Like I'm I knew I, I was I, could do this. I, I, I felt like I was like really good at like but in high school, probably junior year going to my senior year. Okay. Where I was like What happened? I mean, after I reclassed that year, so I played I played sixteen U after my junior year. Um, that's a, that's after I reclassed. And so like that that summer, I was just like, I led the, I led like UA in scoring. Mm. And I was just like, I was, I was killing everybody. Like Easy. going to the camps, you know, killing everybody. So yeah. um, and people didn't didn't know who I was, and I was just showing athleticism, scoring the ball. And so that's what kind of kind of boosted me into the scene a little mm. bit. But it wasn't like that. I was I got finally ranked into the country in the country, like I was like 50 something. That, you that, ended up nine. Yeah. But that's after that's the that's the next summer I did all that work. So like so you so you burst on the scene your junior year. So okay, yeah, because you reclass. Yeah, reclass. So, so you reclass. Okay. So, so got junior you, got year, you, got you, got you. so senior year, uh -huh. I finished high school, yep. but I was still playing AU. Yes. I because I reclassed. Yes. So, you know, I was still doing all the live peers and stuff. So during that time, I led UA in scoring again that yep. second year. And I went, I was now I was getting invited to all these camps. Like my first year at top 100, I never was at top 100 that year before. And it wasn't no, you didn't I, have to go I, there I, no more. I, that was probably my best performance at top 100. I was killing every single game, every single game. And we and our team was winning. Put like, you on the map. Unde, undefeated. Rondo was our coach. He had us oh, out yeah, there playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rondo had us playing. Yeah, he had y'all going crazy. Man, oh my goodness. Yeah. Rondo would tell me, do this. It would work every time, every time. Shout out to Rondo. Shout out to Rondo, for sure. But, um, yeah, I was killing that camp. And literally at that camp, they put me at top 10 at the camp. I'll never forget it. What Nas, Nas Nasir Little, yep. came up to me, we was eating. And he was like, bro, they came with new rankings. Look where you ranked at. I said, oh, shit. I thought I was, I was like. So you jumped from like 50 something to not. So I, 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 was, you I was creeping up a little bit, but oh, I was okay. like in the 30s. Uh -huh. I went from 30 to nine. God damn. I, I was like. You had to be spazzing then. I was killing in that camp. I, it wasn't spaz. even like I was dropping 30 and 40. It was just like, it, it was like 20. Yeah. And, and the crazy thing about it, I wasn't even starting at that camp. Who's in front of you? Um, I forgot, bro. I forgot. But it, I, I mean, at that point, it, I was just used to it. But It didn't matter. Yeah. But Talk about remember. recruiting though, man. Fuck. When the first, who was the first letter? First, my first, first ever, my first ever offer was Tennessee Tech. Okay. It's my, it was my, 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 it's going to my sophomore year of high school. It was the you first. Was oh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Tennessee Tech, I'm like, yeah, yeah, we there. Yeah. <laughs> we there, Tennessee Tech. I'm dead. I can do something with that. Yeah. <laughs> right. We can, we can do something with that. You know, you, you know, you, you know, you go to high school and you start getting letters and people, you know what I mean? You feel like you, you the man you a little bit. Boy. You used to be like, they just put up on your desk. You used to be a whole stack of letters. I'm like, uh, put them in the box. That was the first, <laughs> <laughs> like, that was the first one. I don't even know who's the second one after that. But like, it's crazy though, cause after, like that stuff happened so fast, like mm -hmm. that it went from like low major to high major, just like that. It didn't even get to the point where it got to, got to mid major. You ain't for here real. for Tennessee Tech no more, did you? No, nah, I did for sure. Really? No, I just did out the simple respect that they saw it they before. Saw first. Got you. Like saw it like when I'm when I'm five eleven. Yeah. Like I was out there playing. Like they saw That's it lit. early. You know That's what I mean? Lit. So I respected that for sure. No way you was going there though. After that, no. no. <laughs> I felt bad though because I'm like, dang, they saw it before everything, and I can't even. No, go. that's dope though. That's dope. I'm not gonna hold you. What was what was something that you looked for? Even though we know you go to college, but what was something that you were look for in a college for you to go there? First of all, where would you have went? I was committed to Louisville for a minute. Were you? Yeah, for a, maybe a year and a half. 
Oh, when I got shit. Louisville, I was like, I was it's over with. I'm going. It's over with. Yeah, I, there was a couple of schools that I liked as well, but what about Carolina? Nah, Carolina never recruited me. Not, not none of the blue bloods did. It's only because, but it's only because they had their guards already. Who was there when? Like they had, like you they already you had was Kobe. Class? I was yeah, 2018 class. Oh yeah. So they, they had, had Kobe, Kobe White. Kobe already, was coming but, in the next year. Yeah, and I, I knew it was Kobe show. Yeah, I knew it. Like Kobe yeah. was good enough to do that. Like so. Yeah. And they had yeah. Kentucky. You had you had a male Quigley and Tyler Hero going there. Yeah, and they had Ashton, I think. Ashton Hagens, yep. yep. They went there too. And then- um, You would've got off in Louisville. Duke, who Duke had? Duke had all, you know, Zion, Cam, RJ. Trey. He had Ty, he had- uh, Trey Jones. Trey Jones. Yeah. So it was like- Yeah. They didn't, I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even speak to him. So like- You would've got off. Louisville? Yeah. 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 I, I love Patino too. I you thought were, he was gonna get me better. I was there. Um, I went to a couple of visits. Donovan was my Donovan was my host. Was he? Yeah, oh, he do cornball ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, Donovan, I I die, yeah, he for sure. <laughs> he for sure. He for sure. We we didn't do nothing though. We just, just chilling there, playing two K and shit. Right. That's about it. I, I mean, that. I, I ain't, ain't want to do it all. T- I wasn't the person to do all that. Nah, you know, that be chilling. Shit, actually, yeah. you I be chilling. So you big chilling. Yeah. So I, I mean I went I went to enough practices. So How many practice. did you do? I did I did four, three, three or four. Where you go? Where other fishers? Uh, you? I took one long early on to Virginia Tech. Okay, Virginia Tech low key lit. I can hold you. Blacksburg is that's out there though. That's in the boonies. You know what's crazy? It was against y'all on that visit. Really? It was. I think they fucking beat us too. It did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did. They definitely, definitely fucking beat us. We they barely won that. Though. Yes. Like, they was like, what? Is that when they had Zach Lede? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. When they before the game, when they, before the game started, they started jumping up and down. Should be rocking in there, right. bro. Should be. I was rocking. like, wow. Yeah. They should be rocking in there, especially like I said. I'm only there when they play us, so yeah. you know every time somebody yeah. fucking play us, it's right? Jumping. It's gonna be jumping. It was stupid. So you did Virginia Tech, Virginia Tech, NC State. Fuck that school. You don't like NC State? NC State, bro. NC State, <laughs> bro. That's what I call it. NC, NC State. State. I know that visit Louisville. was ass. I took it, and I took one at Tennessee. Tennessee like that. Tennessee yeah. like that. Did you go to a football game or you went to a basketball game? I went to a basketball game. It was against uh, Kentucky. I know that shit was jumping. It was jumping in there, for sure. I know that shit was jumping. It was jumping in there, jumping for sure. For sure. It was a no-brainer, though. Louisville where you wanted to be. Yeah, but I took those visits after I decommitted from Louisville, though. So I took, I took. Well, why'd you decommit? Cause all the stuff with, with, with Coach P, all that stuff they fired so Coach P. So when he left, you were like, "I'm, I'm going." To nah, I'm not going. I'm, not I'm going to Coach P. Like, Respect. legendary. Yeah, Coach. I had to do that. I had to do that. Hey, listen, like, I don't that's, bl- that's a no brainer for me. I don't me. blame you. So you do post grad. Mm-hmm. What made you do that? Like I said, like going, like going to my junior year, I just felt like I wasn't, mm-hmm. like physically, I wasn't up there with the guys that I was in that class with. So yeah. I mean, even though I went to 2018, it was still dudes that were big. Like, yeah. there was some like big yeah. dudes in 2018. Obviously Zion, but I still had some time to catch up. You know what I mean? I had some time to still play AAU. And, and Do get, you look back you know, on it now and say, that was the best route for you? For sure, for sure. Why? I just, I, I don't know how the dice can roll in college. Like, obviously I think I could have been good in college, but. Yeah. It's a two totally different games in the high school and pros. For sure. Like in college, you really gotta be, you gotta be like physically, you gotta be strong. For sure. Like it's a different game. Like you would have, you would have fit the ACC because it's a little bit more fast paced. Fast paced, you get up and down, yeah. skill set. It's those, it really is in certain conferences. Big 10 is just lifting. All yeah. the time. They, I wasn't I was I wasn't going to any other any other conference ACC or SEC. Yeah. Right. I wasn't I was staying close to home. No, I feel that. I feel that. What was who'd you play with in your post grad team? Um it was me and uh Eric Ayala. He ended up going to Maryland. He was okay. in my class. Um and then other than that, it was, you know, me and I went there, yeah, I went there with my best friend Jaden. That was pretty much it. He ended up going to Memphis. Um but that was pretty much it. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't no like stack stack crazy team. Um, but you it was just lose, how'd your uh, 
Who was in the UA circuit at this, that time? It was like the top players were not like my last year there. It was like Javon Quinterly and and mm. and Nas Reed. Um, Got you. Did y'all win it? We didn't. We lost in the first round, bro. What the fuck? Crazy. The- we lost to uh we lost a Carolina team. Who we lost to? I'm forgetting, bro. They had like Joey Baker and all them on the team. Lost to Joey Baker? Yeah. That's I can't believe tough, we lost. Bro. I can't believe we lost. I forgot <laughs> what, what Carolina team was UA? Is UA? They uh they blew. They I blew don't really on, know many orange. UA teams, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I know. I don't really know you mean UA teams. But yeah, that I mean we lost in the first round was was because we was the best team in UA that, that whole year. Whole year. Then drop the first round. Crazy. <laughs> I was so sick. I know you was mad as fuck. I was sick. <laughs> I know you was mad. As I was sick. We was done one all season, bro. I oh was my sick. god! So you knew you was going to the league after post grad? No, I didn't know. I didn't know. Going into post grad, I was just trying to get ready for college. Like I was like, I need to take. So a how year. does that work? Is it the same process? What you mean? As far as like when you're in post grad, like recruiting and all that shit. Yeah, it's the same thing. They just recruit you for another class. So if it was. Let's say you did go to college. Where would you have went? So post grad. Any college I chose, if I chose to go that route. So I was taking those visits to NC State in Tennessee. That was all after. After I decommitted from Louisville. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I was still trying to decide whether I'm gonna go to college or go to the league. league. So what was it? I was taking visits. I'm like, they cool. Like, I like I I'm sorry, bro, but I hate I liked NC State a lot. I like Keys. And he was gonna let me play. I fuck with Keith. He's not the coach. He's gonna let me play. He was gonna let me play. Have anybody. He's gonna let me play for sure. So you would have you would have got off there. Yeah. And then, yeah. but I mean, they told me I was gonna be a first round pick. I'm like, <laughs> like, what are we wasting what our time for? about? Why, why would I waste a wait? I would say waste a year, but waste a year to be in the same position I am. Hopefully next year. Yeah. And you don't even you don't even know how that's gonna work out. And so, you healthy at this point. So right. why don't I just go ahead and do what I need to do? Exactly. And then I'm, you know, I was blessed to be in a position where I didn't have to really come in and play right away. I was That's able to I was able to learn to learn. Gradually. So what was the how many workouts you do? I worked out for like 10 teams. Lucky motherfucker, bro. I didn't, yeah. I Lucky. there were some people I was working out with that was they was like, yeah, I've worked out. This is my 16, 14 yeah, this week. I'm like, bro. damn. Fucking grinding. Bro. I know they, that shit. They know they, hell, bro. I was tired. That and shit. And I know they hell. was tired doing all them workouts. So you was a first rounder. And you did 10? Yeah. Did you did, did you go against I was people? Selective. Did you go against people? Yeah. I only did one one on a workout. Who was that with? Cleveland. Okay. Did, which one I did was you so prefer? I was confused about that one too. You didn't like it? No, nah, I was just like, that I thought that was for like lottery picks. I you know I didn't know. Like, yeah. and so they all called me for one on a workout. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> like they had, they I think they had like the they had like the like six or seven pick. I'm like, I know they ain't finna pick me six or seven. That'd be crazy. That's speaking for me. The NBA season is back, and you guys already know we are sponsored by DraftKings. So y'all go over right now and download the app and use our promo code Grace. And you know what hasn't changed? Football season is still going on, and DraftKings is an official partner of the NFL. And new customers who bet just as little as five dollars. Get two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly. So y'all go over and use promo code Race right now. And if sports betting is not available in your state, DraftKings got you. They still have daily fantasy. But you already know the NBA season's back. So y'all go to DraftKings, download the app, use our promo code Race, and it's a lot more fun when you got money on the game. DraftKings, the crown is yours. Yeah, that'd be lit. Right. Fuck all that. <laughs> what was your best workout? Best workout? Uh, Blazers for sure. I did, I did really good against some good guys. Um, I would say Lakers, I did good. Lakers workout, I did good too. Um, and I'll probably say the Magic too. They Those three. Those are the only three teams that brought me off for second workouts. So you did two. For each team, yeah. For each team. Yeah. So you really only did, you only worked out for what, four teams? No, I worked, I worked out for, for the Jazz, too. Uh-huh. I worked out for Phoenix, Bulls, 
I want to say that's it, to be honest. Who'd you, what was your worst one? Either the Bulls workout, my first one. It was right after the combine. And I knew, but I knew, but I knew they already, they was already about to draft Hutchinson at the time. Yeah. So I just wanted to do it just to feel like mm-hmm. what it, what, a, what a workout was like. Everybody heard that shit. Yeah, everybody knew. That shit got me. You know what I mean? Shit pissed me off. So <laughs> everybody knew that. So um, I would say other than that, probably Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix, they had that three minute, that three minute run or something like that. Yeah. And I never went to Phoenix. I was gassed, bro. I was gassed. I ain't never go to Phoenix. That's Orlando's was solid. Orlando's was solid. I like the Lakers workout. Lakers workout was solid. Yeah. We never was in the same workout. Mm-mm. Nah. I worked out for Utah, too. Utah, I Utah I didn't Utah do that once. well in Utah either, though. Draft night, though. Talk about it. How was that for you and your family? Shit, you didn't. You was about to go to Louisville. That didn't work out. You go to post-grad. You do that. You taking visits and shit. Yeah. Then you say, I'm going to leave. Fuck all this. I'm a first rounder. Damn, y'all. But now you're getting drafted. Talk about that moment for you and your family. Nervous as hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we like, I made the right decision. Please <laughs> let me. I was like, nervous. Didn't yeah, know what was going on. Ner- obviously, my parents are more nervous than me, but I was also a little nervous, a little doubt. Like, I made the right decision. Yeah. I was thinking about it like that. I write the right decision. Like, you know, I think, you know, them, I knew like the teams that brought me a second workout really liked me. Uh-huh. Uh, Portland brought me in for a second workout literally like two days before the draft. They just wanted to see me, like, see me again. And so I'm like, all right. I know for a fact that these three teams like me. Uh-huh. It's just a matter of fact when they're going to get me. Yeah. So, so did you knew you were getting picked then? Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I think the Magic had the fifth pick. They ended up picking Mo Bamba. Yep. And they was trying to trade up to get me before Portland got me at 24. Uh-huh. And I knew Portland, if Portland didn't get me, Lakers is 25. So I'm like. You, you knew you were going in that range. I knew. I, I that was like, I'm, I gotta go, I'm going to go with Portland. And the Lakers, and if I don't go, I know the Lakers for sure going to pick me. That's what I was thinking in my head. Wait a minute. So that. That first year with the Lakers, that would have been Brian first year? Yeah, that would have been Brian first year first year at the Lakers. Oh, that would have been wild. Yeah. But then they, who they draft that year? They drafted uh, Mo Wagner. Big, they big man from Michigan, yeah. They drafted him next. Fuck. That would have been, that would have been cold. You in LA would have been wild. But Loki fucking helped you. No, for sure. No, for sure. Yeah, coming in that that's a like that's how I knew I made the right decision. Like they yeah. he, they put me in a like perfect situation to learn from people like Bro. people that's in my position, like Dame and CJ. So I'm like, this unbelievable, is- unbelievable what? draft. Come on, bro. You you can't get no you who the fuck you can't learn from nobody better than Dame and CJ. But it's crazy though, because I go off I you could go back on interviews with like random reporters, yeah, and, like what's the name, like I will always say, who you play like? I would say Dame and CJ. Literally, there's a video of me saying Dame and CJ. I play like both of them. And then you went there. I went up there and, and started learning from them. I was like, see, they I made was, the right decision. They was busting your ass when you first got there, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. I, honestly, a couple years, to be honest. Like It took a while. It took a while for me to like really like be like, kind of match, match yeah. what they do. Yeah. You know what I mean? In a, in a way. It took but me a couple years. When you found out you were going to Portland, how hyped were you? I was hyped for sure, for sure. Like I'm, like I said, I'm, I don't know. Like I'm, I've not left the state of Florida my whole life, but since then, that's crazy. Man. And they, I get shipped way oh, on other, like <laughs> the farthest possible place I could go. So I'm like, man, how does oh, that's how a does, fucking culture shock? How does Portland finna be? Like, cause I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know like how like the weather was, cause yeah. I came during during like a good time. Yeah, you know what I mean. The, yeah, 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 April yeah. was okay, like mm. it was sunny outside, but I like my first Portland lit in the summer, for sure. One probably the best weather that I've ever been in the summer. One thousand percent. I came, I was came to Portland for the, in the summer for the first time this past year. Probably, yeah, I think so. And I was like, fucking beautiful here. Yeah, it's nice. It's just during the fucking basketball season. It's raining yeah, every fucking day. So I didn't, I didn't like. I'm used to hot weather. Yeah. So I know that fucked you up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bruh, bruh, 
I, I kid you not, my first year, I caught, I got bronchitis. <laughs> That's I got, common. I got bronchitis. <laughs> <You said it. laughs> I got bronchitis from the cold weather. Like I just, my body couldn't. I like I couldn't. I, yeah. I couldn't get used to it. It took, it took me to like literally this past year that I felt comfortable being in the cold weather. Like that it wasn't that it wouldn't even bother me. Before that, I did not fuck with cold weather at all. Like, like it took you five years, six years. Yeah. Like to this That's day, crazy. like I don't know. I can't. It just, <laughs> it's just, it's just a part well, of me now. Like, yeah, at like this that, point, the heat, like. It just does something like I, it does something to my body, bro. No, nah, I like feel the it. Heat. I feel that. I feel that because I mean, you, bro. It's you got to think. You've been in Florida weather. That's different. That's what I'm saying. Humidity. That's different. I, did, up I there. did not know what humidity felt like before that. So you never left. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, it's humid. I'm like, it's just hot. Yeah. Me, like, <laughs> like it's just hot. Like you got you got like Arizona Arizona weather. That's dry heat. That's fine. I I yeah. knew that. But other than that, I thought it was just normal heat until I came to Portland mm -hmm. and went back. It's a motherfucking culture. Then I was shop, like, oh shit, that's this is what humidity yeah, is. It's yeah. hot as a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be hot. <laughs> I love it though. It'd be yeah. hot though. Nah, for sure. What was, so when you got to Portland, you knew the plan from the get go? For the most part, yeah. I already knew. Like, they, I mean, they, they told me. They didn't tell you, but they were like, they told me. They told me. They, okay. was, they was pretty direct. Like, uh -huh. it was pretty direct. Like, they was like, it's gonna be a year. You're gonna you're gonna learn a lot. Just mm -hmm. just learn as much as you can. Um, Your time and then coming. yeah, just just working out, watching them play every game. You know what I mean? Just sitting there watching, working out, getting better. That's the perfect spot, bro. Facts. There was no perfect. There was no more perfect spot for you because at, at the all. end of the day, you got to learn from two guys who put that ball in a cup. And hold on, they went to the offs. Which year? My first year. Your they, first year. When they, well, they went, before then, I think they went like, we went to the playoffs like six straight, seven straight years, eight yeah. straight years, but that's the year. The, co the coach was who there when you first got there? Coach Stotts. Coach Stotts, right? Yeah. We, that year we went to the West Conference Finals. When you first got there? Yeah. Yeah, that was, exactly. What? I'm happy that I experienced that too because that was the last time, like, those, like, we, those series was crazy, bro. Bro, y'all was spazzy. Crazy. Like, oh, no, OKC okay, series wait, 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 was lit. Wait, 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 wait. So you was, you was there from the... Yeah, the shot, yeah. What the fuck was going through your head? Man, like, he, I mean, during that moment, he was just, he dribbling the ball, like, and it's going down. I'm like, I'm like he probably go. about to pull up. Like, yeah. he got, like, there's no way. He ain't got no time to drive. Yeah. So he pulled up, but I was like, I'm like, oh, shit. Like... Y'all was really barking that whole series, bro. They was barking the whole, like, but it was really like bad didn't blood. Like that. Yeah. Bad blood. Like between it was between both teams, like it was just like, it felt like a little war. Like, and I was like, this is what the playoffs about. It was smoke. Shit, I ain't ready. That's what people don't really don't what people don't really understand, bro. If you look at the clip, Seth Curry in the corner when he hit that shit. Look at him. Just looking at him, telling him to go home. Like. That shit was that's, nuts, bro. That bro. gotta feel so good. That has bro. to, bro. That gotta feel what amazing. Type of, who takes that shot, bro? Yeah. <laughs> when was the first game for you? First game that you got legit minutes where you played well. Like, okay, I can play at this level. My first year, I got some minutes in Minnesota. Uh huh. I think if Seth got hurt, and then that was like, be ready. No, they say just be ready tonight. That's Boy. how you know you. That's how you know you're gonna play. You know but, you're gonna <laughs> play, bro. I, hey, listen. I got a game. <laughs> I got a game. Got a couple of buckets. And I was like, hold on now. Yep. It's like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I said, hold on yep. now. I might be all right. Hold on now. Yep. So I ran to the next game. It was over with after that. My yep. high was done. And we went to Washington. Cook. Did you play? Yeah, I got in the game. John, 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 and Brad bullied the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> John and Brad bullied the shit out of me, like pick, pick him up full. And it's funny though, they was picking me up full, full court. Yes. Oh, they was picking that's what on Scott, you, bro. That's, that's what Scott, Scotty, Scotty Brooks was the coach. Yeah. And we talked about it when he came to, when he was in Portland with us, and he was like, "Yeah, that's exactly what I told him to do. Like, pick him up full. Like, bully him." 
<laughs> Scotty, my guy. But that, but I got bullied that next game. So that might have been your welcome to. Yeah, NBA. for sure, for sure. It was over after that though. I was out of rotation again. <laughs> <laughs> it was over after. Hey, that. listen, I will tell you, bro, you got a short leash when you when you at that, sure. at that level. But I tell you what, that last that, we played the last game of the season, we was making the playoffs, and we we just beat the Lakers on a buzzer beater. Mo hit a hit a game winner against yep. the Lakers. Man. We got. I played the whole game. It was six players, and I went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How many you have? I had thirty-seven, like nine assists, and like eight boards, bro. And oh, I'm you like, were, you were solidified at that point. You knew it was a wrap. That that, that boosts my confidence so high. Going into summer league, I was like, I, I'm about to kill summer league, and I played like three games, cooked, and ended up still getting second team all summer <laughs> league. <laughs> it was over. Yeah, it, it was over after that. I mean, I, next coming to next year, I, I played well beginning of the season. Well, we wasn't we wasn't still that good, like we wasn't like where we should have been the year before. Yeah, 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 for sure. So coming off we brought in we brought in Melo, and so you know you got to pay respect to Melo. Mm -hmm. So Melo going it's going to take away from what the opportunity you was getting. So mm -hmm. that was the battle in itself for that year for yeah. that to do all that. So, but after that, I mean, like I said, it was still like. Just by confidence, at that but point. you got way, you got a, a little bit more opportunity your second year because for sure, for sure. Like you, I was beginning of the year, like I was playing well, like very yeah. good, like coming off the bench, scoring the ball, just playing my role. And then we wasn't we wasn't winning that much, so we brought in Melo. Melo helped us out a lot. That was the, that was the year it shut down. We went to the bubble. Went to the bubble. Um, we ended up making the playoffs in the bubble. And what was up with him in the bubble? Who? Dang. I don't know. Oh, well, he was he was dead serious though. It started before the bubble, like, like you know the interview he was saying like he ain't coming to waste his time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like he was he was serious. Like he was ready for the bubble before the bubble. Like <laughs> way before the bubble. Like he was ready. He was ready to go. Bro. So like it didn't surprise me because like, bro, he came everybody back. was in Portland. Most people was in Portland like before he we went to the bubble. Yeah, like, everybody came back from where they was at doing quarantine, and like first day like. We went and played pickup. It was just the team, like in another gym. And he Spanish. was in shape, like in game shape. Like he was, we played six games back to back to back and he was not tired. So like he was, he was doing stuff during quarantine the whole time. And so like, it didn't surprise me how well he played because I, I guarantee he was way more prepared than everybody that was in there. Bro, he was spazzing. Going crazy. He, when he shot that, when he shot that thing, at, at, like literally at half court. At half court. It Against gave Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Oh my goodness. I said, yo. Best performance you've seen him have in person. Either one of those bubble games for show. Um, or uh my third year when we played Denver in the playoffs, he had like 55. Was that when uh that was when Austin was guarding him? Yep. Bro, he, he was just hitting he was just hitting, he was just hitting it, it didn't just make hitting, sense. Yeah, he was just like hitting a whole bunch of like fucking shots. <laughs> like <laughs> Like, ain't nothing you can do, like. Bunch nothing, of those. A bunch of them, like, like some of the toughest shots I've ever seen him shoot. And that's saying a lot. It's crazy, bro, because, like, that shit contagious. Because you start doing shit like that. That's, uh, man, you, you see it work. No, it be like, I be like, shit, let me start, try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I swear to God, bro, I'm like, this motherfucker has literally beat an like, athletic version of this dude. He's taking fuck you shots now, bro. That's literally that's a, that's how I learned the NBA game. <laughs> like just watching him. That's a. I mean, I guess you say it's a good and, and bad like yeah. example. Yeah. Because like this man is a top seventy five player, and you think so? Would come you here shoot? Thing? Would you shoot the shot he shot against OKC? No, I wouldn't shot that. I would have tried to get to the rim. <laughs> I could do it like you would have got to up. the rim. I got. I would have got like a you pull, pull up. up three or something. No, nah, I would have try to do a mid-range shot, pull up, something like that. Okay. That's why I say, like, I, I try to learn from both Dame and CJ. Like, Dame is, Dame, like, CJ is, a, like, especially around that time, he was a, like, a mid-range savant. Yeah. Like, it, before everybody cared about, like, shooting threes and rims. Every time he shot the ball, I thought it was going in. Yeah. But, like, he was really, like, very good at shooting a mid-range shot. So that kind of took that from him, too. So, like, personally, I would have I would have drove. For sure. I would have drove. I wouldn't have shot that. I hear you. That's too far. I don't think there's only... I don't even know if Steph would have shot it. I don't That's know if Steph would have shot that. 
I don't know if he would have either. Do you know how fucking well you know that shit was far as fuck? Yeah. Let me I don't ask know you this. Inside it. When CJ left, mm-hmm. was there a conversation? Was there something that you knew? Did you know beforehand or did it just happen? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, C, I mean, CJ is the most brutally honest person ever, though. Like, that's one thing that I always spread about him. He was always like, it could be my time to be gone at any time. Like, mm-hmm. I just got to do, do what I can to yeah. control that. So um, before it happened, he already knew. Like, there was always people talking about it. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? What happened and... And he was just honest about it. He just hopefully he went to a, like a right situation, which he ended up going to a, sure. a, a great situation. For sure. So, um, you know, it was always like he was always aware of the fact that it could happen. It could happen. All systems go for you though. Yeah, that I mean that year for <laughs> All sure. All systems go at that point. Even but honestly, honestly, even but like before he got traded, like it was me and him in the starting lineup with like mm-hmm. me, him, uh, Norm. Rocco and Nurt. Yeah. And we was playing actually pretty well. Like, we wasn't, like, amazing, but, like, we was actually playing pretty well, and I was still playing well with those guys. Yeah. So that's what gave me more confidence. For sure. That I'm able to still be myself in this situation. With other good players. And they would be, and they would be, they helped me, like, be yourself. Like, they need need you to Yeah, like, be be yourself. Go ahead and play. Like, we gonna figure it out. Like, we've been in the league long enough. We gonna figure out how to be us. For sure. You go go do yourself. Um, And so... That's big time to have. I think I think that's one of the things that people don't really understand. Is like it can go either way. They could be assholes and be like, "Nah, bro, like For sure. you gotta get in where you fit in." Right. For them to give you the keys, pretty much, and be like, "Yo, we need you to be you for us to be successful." So we pretty much they said they're getting where they fit in, and they just let you go. So that's big time on your part. But as soon as that happens, your responsibility goes to another level because that's a lot of scoring that's gone. For sure. What was that mindset for you and how did you handle, like, did that change how you prepared? Did that tra- change anything for um, you personally? Not, nece- not necessarily. I think as soon as I started, like, started to become a starter, like, that's what changed my, like, mm-hmm. I, like I got to be different now. Like, that's true. I'm a starter. Like, yeah. I got to approach this game differently now. Mm-hmm. So that's what kind of changed from there. And, like, it didn't really change after they got traded. Um, I just knew that, you know, it was free game. Mm-hmm. Like, I had nothing to lose at that point. Like, I was, Not at I all. was about to be a shoot the free agent, and I'm like, it's time now. Like, mm-hmm. I gotta do I gotta something. Make my money, right? I gotta I do gotta something now. Like at this point, so I was out there just playing free. You know what I mean? And I was, I was probably some like one of the best stretches of my career, for sure. Mm-hmm. And then only because you know, I mean, people ain't know who I was. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you know, I mean, it's they the playing in a drop. I'm about Kill that, Come on, bro. Kill a drop. <laughs> Easy. When was the last time you saw a drop? Except for Milwaukee. They don't. I saw, I they mean. They changed it up now, though. Now you, see it times, you see it a couple times. You see it a couple times last year, but it didn't. Like, Not Wizards bad. Wizards ran it for the majority of the game. And I was missing at first, but you I just caught fire in the fourth yeah. quarter. I had like 20 <laughs> in the fourth. And then, but other than that, no. Not at all. Like, it's. Your best ge- You feel, What is your best game you feel like you've had? Best game? Yeah. Um, because sometimes technically people could say it's not even a game that you had the most points. My best game. Yeah, you feel like your best game in the NBA. Man, I always felt good about. I always felt good when I did it good against like good defenders. Yeah. So yeah, like I would say I would say that fourth year, like when we we played we played um we played, played Milwaukee. In Milwaukee, and you know, at that point, the the season was kind of pretty much over for us. But we mm. were still, you know, we're still fighting before the uh, All Star break. And I ended up like having like thirty one and seven. We ended up beating them in Milwaukee, and I had Drew as a as the primary defender on me. And I'm like, I did well. I'm like, that's that's the confidence. Because those comp- are the people like. Because mm-hmm. those are the people you like. You got like ultimate respect for it because no, you like, sure. and you know you got to be on your shit that you day. You got to be on your shit. Drew that was, day. Listen, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. We were playing in New Orleans, and uh, I was running a one, and Drew came out the corner and like picked me up. I gave that ball up so fucking fast. Sometimes you just, bro, it's, hey, it's listen, not worth it. 
Listen, it's not worth it. Let me t- let me let people in on something. It's okay. There are certain po- there. I'm not scared of the motherfucker. Just let me get down to court. First. Right. That's all you need. Like, why would I? I'm not about to waste energy. I'm not gonna waste smarter, not harder. I'm not right. gonna waste my time trying to fucking have unless a unless only time I'll be like, just give, give me the give me the ball. It's like end of the game. Like it's like end of the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm bringing the ball to court. Yes. Right? I got to. Like <laughs> let's finish. I got like we gotta finish the game, but. If it's like second quarter, you mm-hmm. trying to pick up food, it's like, bro, just, just mm-hmm. take the ball, I'll get it up there. Y'all know what time it is? It is time for Theo's Picks. And you already know, brought to you by DraftKings. Go download the app, use our promo code RACE. Now let's get into the picks. First, we got Baltimore versus Cleveland. Baltimore, the points is 43 points. I'm going to go under, only because Cleveland can't score anything. They can't score, so... Baltimore score all the points, but Cleveland won't contribute at all. Uh, next, we'll go Atlanta and Tampa Bay. And I got Baltimore winning that game. Atlanta and Tampa Bay, uh, 48 points. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over in that game. Is that Tampa Bay? I'm going to say Tampa Bay wins that. They come out with the win. Next, we got Philly versus Cincinnati. Good bump. Good bump right there. Uh, 48 and a half. I'm going to go over. I'm going to get Cincinnati at home, though. Cincinnati with the dub at the crib. Next, we're going to go... My, I'm a, Hey, listen, I, I don't talk about New England enough. Uh, now that my boy, uh, the new quarterback they have, <laughs> I'm going to go with New England over New York. Line is 40. I'm going to go under. <laughs> Both teams don't score the ball a lot, but it's okay. And I got New England winning. Shout out to the quarterback from New England. Next, we got <laughs> Chicago. Washington, T. Hall, you know what time it is. I got Washington by a million. Line is 47. Battle of the QBs of this year's draft. I'm going to go over. I'm going to go over. And, of course, we got Washington winning. Washington by a million. Next, we got Kansas City and Las Vegas. I'm going to go over 43 and a half. Kansas City beat the brakes off of Vegas. Last but not least, we got Dallas versus San Francisco. Line is 49. We're going to go under. San Francisco with the win. San Francisco is going to beat the doo-doo out of Dallas. San Francisco by a million. And that's Theo's picks. Y'all know I got the best picks in the game. Y'all go to DraftKings. Download the app. Now let's get back to the episode. You, I mean, you got two guys in CJ McCollum who they, they got to retire CJs and dames because them two are staples here in For sure. Portland. When Dame is on the process of getting out of here, what is like? What's going through your head at that point? Because uh, I'm no, just, first of all, let's get to your, let's get to when you made your money. Okay, <laughs> let's get to that. What did that feel like? The kid who never left Florida, been in Portland the whole time. That which is rare to be on one team for that long. Yeah, thanks. And then you just got a payday. They believe in you and they gave you the keys to the car. Talk about that feeling for you personally. So I'm just thinking like, how the hell did I get here? Like yeah. j- just from coming in, like yeah. I'm thinking in my head, shit, CJ and Dan finna be here forever. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking in, like, this finna be forever. So like how am I to fit in and how am I about to show what I can do? Either if I'm here or maybe I'm going somewhere else. Yeah. So I'm thinking in my head from then, like, they're gonna be here forever. And then all the stuff shift and now I'm now I'm a feature guy, and so like they pay me all this money, so I'm like, got to produce. Yeah, right. It's like got to produce. It's time to it's, it's, a it's time level. to think differently now, like yeah. more than before. So, and then that next year, just like you like, that's what it's like being a real starter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Star. You like you you you're the focal point of the scout report just, now. Just, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Just starter in general. Yeah. Because at that point, like going going like. Right now, I'm only I've only been starting for full time two and a half years. Yeah, to, for a full, so I'm still trying to learn how to be a full time starter on, on on like on year to year basis. So yeah. like I'm on the top of the scouting report, and you got to navigate that. They blessing the shit out of you. Like mm-hmm. you got to figure out how to how to still be you and and still you know make plays for others and stuff like that. So that's probably been the battle. For sure. For sure. To still average 20, and you're the top of the scout report, tip my cap, my brother. Tip my cap. I know it got to be like, but 
it's like the process of it has helped you get to here though. Right. Like you seeing two greats. Yeah, you see it happen it. to them. You've seen it happen to them. You've seen how they handle it. And you got them in your back pocket. You can call them at any point. Yo, how do you handle this right. situation? How special is Dame and CJ in that aspect to help you? Now I mean, that I've, you got the keys to the car and you basically, you not even basically, you the franchise guy. I mean, obviously just, I mean, Dame is always here with me. Yeah. We got the same trainer. So it's always easy, easy to call like, I mean, any, both of them, to be mm -hmm. honest. You know what I mean? It's just, they always been helpful to my development, yeah. always. Like, even when they didn't have to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Pulling me to the side, talking to me stuff about this, or giving me pointers about that. And, I mean, Dame did that early on as well. Like, yeah. like he would do that during games. Like, he in the middle of the game, and he's telling me exactly what he's thinking during that game. Yeah. So that to be able to do that, mm -hmm. that's a special player in itself. For sure. You know what I mean? Because, like, I couldn't even... Like, I'll be so locked in to what's going on. Mm -hmm. Like, to be able to think about somebody else that's not even playing, or that's 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 in streetwear, that's in a in a in a sport coat. Yeah. To go over there and be like, this is what I'm thinking about. And he has to think about how he gonna get how he gonna exactly. Get off. That's what yeah. I'm saying. So yeah. I'm so yeah. I'm, I'm I'm like, I'm thinking like, how do you how can you do this? Cause I'm now in a position where like I'm only thinking about like what what can I do right now to beat this coverage or yeah. beat how to how to mm -hmm. exploit what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And to think Think about that and thinking about somebody that's yeah. sitting on the side of the bench, yeah. that's like, that's crazy to me. Think, have you thought about it how this shit's really went full circle to you? Because now they brought in you and Dame was your big bro. He was the guy to help you out. Now mm -hmm. it's Scoop. Mm -hmm. You're that for Scoop. So now you having to you know, right. Scoop, look, they're going to do this. I right. need you here because you're my outlet. I want to get the ball to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So how are you navigating that of being, you don't, what you think? What's OG status? You're not OG to me, yet. To me, to me, to me is to me. You gotta you gotta done like at least ten plus. In I the think league. ten is OG. Uh, ten or eleven, even if that. Bro, bro I had was calling me OG this year. Like chill, bro. Yeah. Like it's six years. Like you know they they say, I'm, I'm the obviously I'm the longest ten year player on the team right yeah. now. So naturally they're gonna like be like oh, okay you the vet like, yeah. type type. But I'm like sometimes I'm like all right. Like cool, like I've been here. I know the ropes. I yeah. know what I know what it is. Like all these, all the, all the young guys don't know better. For you know sure. What I mean, so I'll I'll try to help them. But at the same time, I'm trying to figure this shit out yeah. too. Still, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. so I'm like, I'm just you caught you caught them both. So like, the only only real like advice I can give them is what I've already seen, mm -hmm. which I feel like it still ain't much. Yeah. So. Like I'm still learning how to like I'm still learning. Yeah. To this and you day. gotta go through, you gotta go through some of these things too. Right. You gotta go through the ups and downs. Right. What was a moment, what was a down for you that got you kind of like refocused in the league where you like, okay, maybe I gotta tweak this or do something different here? Um, for sure, my, probably my third year. Mm. My third year, I came in ready. I came in, I came to training camp ready, like body-wise, yep. skill-wise, um, I was ready. Mm. And so, going into that year, I knew, like they told me shut up. I wasn't going to be in the rotation. So I'm like, all right, cool. I I, I knew that was coming. Yeah. Like Gary Trent had a crazy bubble. Yep. He was going crazy. It's fast. And I came in. I came in with him. So I'm like, I understand it. Like, yep. Gary deserved mm -hmm. exactly what he's getting. So, mm -hmm. um, I was just working hard, waiting for my opportunity. Somebody got hurt. I came in, played one game, played well. Um. You know, I was playing well for multiple games too. I was killing, mm -hmm. not killing, but I was playing well, playing good. And I felt like I wasn't given an excuse not to be out of rotation when, once people come back. Yep. But that happened. Yep. So they came out of rotation. I came out of rotation, came back and I played in a blowout game. I think it was against the Mavericks. Yep. And I played like shit. And I was hot. Cause I'm was like- Was it in Dallas? It was in, it was in Portland. In Portland? Okay. Yeah, I played, I played like shit. And I, I, was, I went back to my home house mad as hell. So I'm like, damn, now I gave him an excuse not to play me. Yep. Like, yeah, look at this. You weren't ready. So after that moment, that completely changed. I'm like, I can't give him an excuse no more. Like, I, I can't no more. Like, I got to be ready to go immediately. I think that's the biggest thing that people got to understand, especially guys going into the league. I think you just can't give them nothing, bro. Can't. You can't give them no ammo. No nothing for them to be like, oh, you not locked in or you not taking. Yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to be on your p's and q's, bro. right? You gotta because be locked in. you really, you dig, you're, you're really kind of controlling 
their livelihood. So right. they like, how how am I gonna trust you? Right. You know what I'm saying? So I that that's big time. I think that's something that we all have to go through. And there's always a moment for us to be like, okay, this shit gotta switch or I'm gonna be fucking right. Not See, I'm rotation. thinking about the right yeah. third year, especially going to my fourth year. I'm like, but this yeah. is my career on the line this yeah. year for sure. Yeah, you got to be a free agent. Right. Gotta go. God, I gotta do something this year. <laughs> I got to. Even that fourth year, I came in being the backup point guard. When was the moment you thought they believed? You knew they was like, okay. Um, I know. think, I think, I think the whole time they believed for sure. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I just think, I mean, what you, what you gonna you do? You just harder on yourself. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I, I just, in my head, I'm just thinking like at that moment, I was like, I gave him an excuse. Like I can't. Like I feel that. I gave him an excuse. Like I, I played that. well this one time that I had a. Mm. We played. We played the whole fourth quarter. Mm. I played terrible. I think I went like 0 for 8, two turnovers. I played it. terrible. So I'm like, oh shit, it's over. They it don't even be the missed I'm shots. Not, it be the turnovers. I'm, I'm not getting back in the rotation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, look, luckily, I was just fighting and scraping uh, to get back in the rotation. And I ended up getting back in the rotation um, going into the playoffs. So I was happy about that. That was probably it. like a, a good moment for me to go into my fourth year. I was like, we got a new coach and I was yep. like, new opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then the playoffs helped too. Yeah, for sure. The playoff experience helped. I mean, it wasn't full of playoff because mm -hmm. you know, that, that year, there was yeah. nobody really in the yeah, stands, but in there. it's still like the intensity was still there. Yeah. How, you were spoiled early. Now you a vet. Now you're going on year seven. You're going on seven. Yeah. You're going on year seven. You were just in the Western Conference Final your first year. What is it going to take for y'all? And I know y'all are rebuilding. Y'all mm -hmm. are still trying to get back to that, get to the playoffs in general. Because play, Portland in, in the playoffs, jumping. Yeah. Jumping. For what sure. is it going to take for y'all? And what are you looking forward to for the team now? I think for sure just... Cause I'm I think, I think got a mob. yeah, I mean, we got we got a good team. You know what I mean? We got a lot of good young players, and I think it's just all a matter of like pulling it all together. Like yep. I think every 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 young player got something to prove. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's me, Denny, mm -hmm. Da, mm -hmm. like in that room, and that helps though. You know, we all got something to prove mm -hmm. um, that we can impact winning at a high level. Yeah, and obviously with the young guys, they coming in. You know, we got a lot of lottery picks. Mm -hmm. They want to come in and prove themselves. prove themselves. So I think that's all, like, that should be Good. what yep. what drives us to be become mm -hmm. where we were For before. Sure. So, um, and then obviously, you know, you got players like Jeremy, who's been in the league a long time, and he still wants to Warren. wants to compete. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's the motivation for all of us, just proving ourselves, in, For sure. whether, whether it looks different. I agree. I mean, I feel like y'all have the talent. The talent's there. It's just, like I said, biggest thing, putting it all together. Right. I mean, when you have everybody who's trying to prove themselves, if y'all just come to one common goal, I don't, I don't see how it don't work. Right. I mean, you see fucking OKC, okay, them motherfuckers over there just start really balling. Bad. And they, they was, all young. But they was building that a long time ago. A long time ago. They That's was. what I'm saying. Like, like now, it's kind of it's kind of like what y'all have now. Y'all young, all trying to figure it out. And when it clicks, it's, it's over with. Does Kawhi Leonard deserve a statue? In, in Toronto? In Toronto? Yeah. Was it was it their first championship ever? First championship ever. Shit, might have to. Thank you, bro. He See, might have I to. Fought with, I, hey, I fought with him. He might have to. I fought with him. He might have to. Yeah. He for sure got a championship and dipped. <laughs> he said, all right. <laughs> Appreciate you. I did what I had to do. That's, he I, might deserve he a might statue, though. bro. He might, though. That's, that's Just all the, I'm off saying. the stuff he did that year, like, that 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 on, fade bro. away in the corner. Come on, bro. When the next time you think they're gonna win that chip? And went in there and, and beat the Warriors. Come on, bro. Went in there and beat the Warriors too. Like beat them. Better Brian. This is a good one for you, Florida boy. Better Brian. Better Brian. Twenty. What we say? Twenty twelve or twenty eighteen? So after Man. they lost to the Mavs, <laughs> or the team that they got swept. Against 2018 was he was different. Different time. I, I, I picked 2018. You picked 2018? I picked 2018. I but honestly, I gotta go 2012. I gotta go 2012. That's that's like yeah. athleticism wise, it was there was he was unmatched. Yeah. It was nobody. He was, he was shooting the three ball well, shooting pull-ups. He was still, shooting well that year. He was shooting like he was killing. He was killing. 
they, they, they getting fouled every every drive. Couldn't stop them getting downhill. You know what, bro? I might. I, I take it back. Today, I, I today I've been convinced. I'm not gonna lie. He, I think he did shoot it well that year. At 20, it was a year before he didn't shoot it that well. And he was going through like at that time. I feel like he was going through a real gauntlet to get there. Like the yeah. team. He went through play, everybody. He went through everybody that he went through every team that he had smoke with. I think did they play Chicago? I think he beat Chicago. He beat Boston, in Indy, Indiana, probably. Indiana. And Indy was smoke. Yeah, twenty twelve was it. Even when they, even when they beat San Antonio, he was that whole. That, Miami Brown is probably like I would say peak, like peak Brown, like athleticism wise and just overall game. Am I wrong for saying you just? I know you still. Brown in Miami was the best player ever to play this game. Best player ever? That's a great case. I wouldn't be mad at it at all. Be best player to ever play this game when Brown was in Miami. I think, yeah, I mean, I, like as an overall basketball player, you can't top him. He can't, did, can't, he top, he can't top him. You can't top, you can't top him. I just, think, I just think like simplicity-wise, a basketball mentality, like the epitome of a real competitor, mm -hmm. like Brown, I mean, Jordan is it. Like, like he's it. Like, if I want to get something done, like right now, like, like seven game series, you need to no actually one game, you, you or even seven games game, to be honest. One game, one game to win a championship. You picking Jordan? I gotta pick Jordan. I gotta pick Jordan. I wouldn't be mad if somebody picked Bron though, like because Bron gonna go in there and and put That's everything our next out of question. There. That's the next question. If you got one game to win an NBA championship, who are you picking, Bron or, Bron or Jordan? I won't be mad at Bron though. Who are you picking, huh? A little Bron. But MJ, just like it's almost it's almost a gift and a curse when it's almost a gift and a curse when you have that takeover mentality, though. I feel that. So before we leave, you said the first. You say your top three mixtapes were who? You said Austin. John Wall. Who was your third? You couldn't pick a third. I couldn't pick a third. I don't remember. I can, I got I got to go look and look. Okay. Let's see. A kill car was cool. Uh, kills, I, like kills I went crazy. back and watched. Andrew Wiggins was crazy. Going back on it to be honest. But there's somebody I'm missing. That was nice. That was crazy. There's always that one guy that was just like you miss out on. You gonna say what you about Zion? Zion's was different. That's Brandon B. Jennings was crazy. B. Jennings? <laughs> B. Jennings was crazy. Uh, deeper bag, Shea or Luca. Yeah. Just get in a bucket. Get in a bucket, Shea, for sure. I'll go Shea. I think Shea's one. I'll go Shea. You got a bag, bro. I'll go Shea. Yeah, deep to Shea. Tough. That's what I'm saying. Luke, but Luca, Luca, like. He don't got to do Luka, all that. He don't got to do all that no more. You know what I'm saying? He don't, like, don't, don't got to do too much. But early on, Luca was moving low key. He was That's moving. That's what people don't understand. He was moving. <laughs> <laughs> going down the lane, dunking. Yeah. Like he Luka was moving, had, like actually he was moving. Going stupid. He just figured out, like, I ain't gonna move this fast gonna, to be effective. But that's what people don't understand. He's like, they he don't work. I'm like, he don't got to. You don't got to. You don't gotta work hard. <laughs> like got bump, to, he already strong, bump you. You can't you can't he gets that shot, that elbow up, it's over with. You can't block over it. Over with. Ain't shit you can do about it. You can't block it, it's over with. Nothing. But man, listen, I appreciate you coming on. You already know what this is. This is another episode of Rain Race. We got Anthony Simon on here. Getting bigger and better. We out. Peace. My boy.